Hi friends, thanks for watching! In this video, I'm going to show you how to display units of measurement alongside your numbers in a way that you can do calculations or math on them. So maybe you have something like this. You've got a name and completion time, different values. And if you do something like an auto sum, I'll hit enter, you see they sum up just fine, or whatever other type of calculation you want to run on them. But let's say you really want to display something like this with minutes after it. You might notice that my total down there is actually getting smaller as I type these in because they're basically being ignored. The 103 is basically just these numbers. If we double click into the total, you'll see that even though it's including those first three cells in the formula, it's not really including them. Or you might do something like, I'll type in average, and maybe you want to average these three numbers up here, and you get an error. So sometimes it just doesn't work at all, but it's totally possible, coming into my final tab here, to have something like this with units displayed, do the auto sum, and have it work perfectly. And it's a lot easier than you might think. So let me come back to the Start tab. I'll just undo everything that I've done here. So we're just starting with numbers. I'll select all of these, and then right-click, come into Format Cells. And what you want to do is come into Custom here. There's actually a lot here. We're going to go with the super simple one at the top with the zero. And then all you need to do is right up here where Type is, leave the zero, type in a space, and then in quotes, whatever unit is you want to display. So we're going to go with minutes, but you could use hours or days or pounds or whatever it is. So zero, space, and then in quotes, the units. Click OK. And there you go. Now this filled in the minutes, but if you were to just type in here something like a 10 or an 11, that'll automatically fill in the minutes there for you. Obviously, everything works on the sum. If we were to do something like an average here instead, so I'll just update that, hit enter, you'll see that works just fine as well. So that's it, super simple. Hopefully you found this helpful. If so, think about hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to get more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.